what is up survivors all right bringing you guys back with another update for myth of empires 1.0 and uh some new content um a few things that we knew was coming and a few things we didn't know was coming but first and foremost um they restated that 1.0 will be dropping on february 1st so it is still scheduled for february 1st the play test is still scheduled for the 23rd it will last a week there will be 16 servers with, I don't know, 15 plus different uh, counties within those servers. Um, so yeah, um, I don't know very many people that have gotten their um, their access yet, but you can go to the Steam store page and scroll down and you should see a request access and just keep an eye on your Steam email and you should hopefully see a invite accepting email that will allow you to get into the uh, test play again majority of the eu and north american player base that i have talked to and it's not a very small number it's about 2000 3000 plus that have tried that have requested only about a handful of them have even said they've gotten a their invite and that's speculation because some people have been using the uh beta test screenshot from three years ago to try to lie and they got busted for it so <laughs> yeah <clears throat> it's three days until playtest and i know nobody that's gotten their invite yet so it's uh interesting so yeah so first and foremost they are releasing a new chest to the game um the mechanical chest or mechanic chest um this chest uh is a new type of storage chest that can only store one type of item in abundance in greater quantity than other storage chests so dedicated storage box <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm starting to see the snail games wild card influence with this right here yeah <laughs> it's, a, it's a dedicated storage box guys that's exactly what this is um, all right, so the next thing is the scythe wagon. Um, the scythe wagon, uh, a horse can fit in the center of the scythe wagon, and it has multiple blades on it in the front, in the back side, and on the back. And I'm assuming there's another blade right here. And it's basically, I'm, I'm assuming it's anti horse, anti infantry. So basically, if you see somebody with one of these and you're on a horse, you might want to stay clear. <laughs> because <laughs> they were probably going to shred you or your horse so i think this is their way to get around blood horses to give people an edge against those with uh, blood horses um because those are a pain in the butt all right so they have that that's coming out and honestly i think this is actually a really good decision right here because if this is as strong as i think it's going to be it, it's going to be nice the next item on the list is the climbing claws. The climbing claws will allow you to climb up large scaled mountains, cliffs, and walls um, by consuming less stamina and strength. So this is going to be interesting. So uh, this will help with getting around, uh, I guess the newer map is supposed to have more mountains on it. So this should help with that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and then they talked about uh, more details on private servers and how they work and all that jazz, um, how solo hosting works, how hosting works. And they gave an example. So there's a picture here of how it all works. So single machine uh, mode. So, you know, maximum of one player. If you're playing solo, um, you won't be able to do any of this kind of stuff. You'll only have local save. Um, if you're hosting an LAN, um, connection you can have up to uh, 100 players um, but you don't have access to public pass cross server player any of that if you do internet you'll have access to uh, public PI but you won't have access to cross servers county battles fortresses or cross server market you'll have to do a single server play 100 cap will uh, both locate for rent um, you'll have access to the PI and stuff like that but you won't have access to server battles and things like that i apologize my discord just went off um and then server clusters will have access to every everything so yeah 
Sorry about that. My Somebody was mass messaging me on Discord, and I forgot to mute it before I made this little clip here. Anyways, guys, sorry. Um, reworking horse breeding to be more optimized and balanced among all horses, I'm assuming. Making the system more balanced overall um, for horse breeding. This gives me hope. We don't know any more than what they just said, but this gives me hope. Um, handheld illumination. Um, various new uh, handheld lanterns in the game will help you find your way in darker areas at night. This tells me we're going to be having more darker areas like caves. Maybe. Hmm. Uh, random equipment stat bonuses. So random equipment will now, when you forge a piece of armor, will have a chance to have a stat bonus. So you can get random stats now, which will diverse the armor even more. That could be a good and a bad thing. <laughs> because groups that have more resources will be able to roll for more chances. So yeah. So equipment signature, which seems a little bit um, big headed. <laughs> There's another word I wanted to use, but I couldn't think of it. But um, if you want to sign your gear, like, yeah, I made this. Mm hmm. Yeah. So your RNG got really good and you're bragging. That's that's what I think of when I see that right there. But there's that um, you'll be able to do ice walls. Um, from what I understand, it's not like an actual ice wall, but you can coat your walls in water, which will make them slippier and harder for enemies to climb. So this is a counter to the claws. Um, and then new character appeal and appearances, presets, added different skin types, colors, and styles. All right. So, yeah, that is everything. They reiterated the whole relaunch of the game on the 21st. You know, that there's still more questions. They're still answering questions. They still have more information and content coming out that they want to release to everybody. But 1.0 in its entirety will be playable on the playtest. So... Unless they give us more information now, we're going to be in for a surprise during the playtest. Because they did say they were going to be reworking skills um, and the skill system a little bit, and they haven't shown what they've done yet. So I'm guessing we're going to all be surprised on what they do when we experience her firsthand. Yeah. I'm um, curious. Really curious. But anyways, yeah, short, sweet, straight to the point video today. Not a whole lot of like key point informations other than I feel like uh, the, the the server list where it shows clusters, single server, internet, LAN, and single machine, how that's all going to work moving forward. But all right, guys, hopefully this uh, this little video here helped you guys with uh, more information as well as some of the some things to look forward to, like the scythe wagon and the dedicated storage box. Um, <laughs> the Deddy of Myth of Empire. <laughs> Anyways, guys, take care as always, and I hope to see you guys out there in Myth of Empire soon. Take care. Peace out. Catch you guys later. Bye-bye.